Okay, now we can write again a structural model as we write before in a system tree. We have f1 and the set of the endogenous variable y1, y2, until yn. Then we have the exogenous variable x1, x2, until xm equal to zero. This is the first equation of our, of our structural model. Remember, endogenous variable are variables uh, determined inside the model, and exogenous variable are variable determined outside the model or given in the model. So we have the second equation, the second function, f2 of y1, y2 until yn, x1, x2 until x m equal to zero. Finally, we have f n, the last equation, which is a function of y1, y2 until y n, x1, x2 until x m equal to zero. Each f implicit function f, the capital F, may be linear or non linear quadratics, for example. Now we start solving linear system or linear economic model. A linear economic model or a linear mathematical model can be right, written in this, in this uh, following way. A11x1 plus A12x2 sorry, Y1, Y2 because we have the set of endogenous variable plus a13 y3 until a1n yn and this is the set of endogenous variables then we have the exogenous variables we have negative sign minus b11 x1 minus b12 x2 until minus b1n x m and this is equal to zero this is the first expression of a linear system then we have the second equation which is a1 a21 y1 the first endogenous variable plus a22 y2 plus a23 y3 until a12 n y n we have the set the sum of the endogenous variables and each endogenous variable as a coefficient or a parameter a then we have the endogenous the exogenous variables so minus b to 1 x1 minus b to 2 x2 until minus b 1 n x 1 m x m equal to zero finally we have the last equation so we have f1 f2 until f n which is a n 1 y 1 plus a n 2 y 2 until a n n y n minus b n 1 x 1 minus b n 2 x 2 until minus b n m x m equal to zero now in order to solve this model we need to write the each endogenous variables as function of the set of exogenous variables consider also the parameters and we can rewrite the system by um, in the following way
a one one y one plus a one two y two until plus a one n y n equal to we put all the exogenous variables on the right hand side so we have b one one x one plus b one two x two until plus b one m x m we can do the same with the second equation of our system so we have a two one y one plus a two two y two plus a two n y n equal to b two one x one plus b two two x two until plus b two m x n last equation is a and one y one plus a and two y two until plus a and n y n equal to b n one x one the first exogenous variable plus b n two x two until plus b n m x n so this is the so this is the we need to solve our aim is to get y1 in terms of all exogenous variables the same from y2 until y n it is a typical economic system or mathematical system and we can define the following object that we call matrix matrices the object a can be defined when we consider three rows it means defined as the following object a11 a12 a1n the web a21 a22 until a2n finally we have a m1 a a n1 a n2 until a n n this is the a typical matrix which is formed by n rows because we have n rows in this matrix but also n columns each element is identified by the number of rows and the number of columns for instance the elements a to one is the elements in the second row and the first column the elements a12 is the elements of matrix the parameters in row one column two as you can see this matrix contains the coefficient of endogenous variables in our linear system then we can define another matrix b which contains the coefficient of the exogenous variable so b11 b12 until b1 n because the, uh, we have m exogenous variables then we have b12 uh, b21 sorry b22 until b2 m finally we have bn1 bn2 until b n m so for this so we have in this matrix n rows so matrix b 
matrix B contains n rows and n columns. Finally, we consider the following two objects which we call vector because are formed by a single column in this way, in this case, but a, a, a vector is also when we consider a single row. The vector we call x, which is defined as x1, x2, until xn, so the vector of exogenous variables, and the vector of endogenous variables, which is defined as y1, y2, until yn. We will see that the system, the system we have to solve can be written as A in a compact form as A Y equal to B X, where A is this matrix y is the vector of the endogenous variable, b is the vector, uh, the, the matrix of coefficient of exogenous variables, and x is the set of the exogenous variables, the vector of exogenous variables. So, matrix, what is matrix? A matrix is a block of number, as for example, matrix A or matrix B. Vector is a matrix with a single columns or a single rows, single row. In general, we can denote a matrix A, which is a general matrix, in the following way: A I J N by N, which means the matrix A whose elements are the element A I J where i denotes the row and j the columns and this matrix is a matrix of n row and m rows and m columns so if we write this matrix we get the matrix a equal to you know, we expand this matrix we have a11 a12 which means row 1, column 2, until A1M, because the number of columns is M. We will see here. We can see here. Then we have A21, A22, until A2M. Finally, the final row is AN1, because the number of rows rows is n a and 2 until a and m this is the matrix with with m column and n rows and the general element is a i j in this case a21 which means the elements in rows in row 2 and column 1. If n is equal to m, so the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, in this case we call a a square matrix. If n is other than m, in this case a is called rectangular matrix because the number of rows is different is other than the number of columns. Finally, can define if we define two matrix, matrix A equal to A i j n times n. So the matrix with, with n rows and n columns, and the matrix B equal to B j B i j P times Q, so another matrix with, with the, with, which 
uh, whose elements are B, I, J, and this matrix has P rows and Q columns, we can, uh, we can say that A is equal to B, if and only if, A, I, J is equal to B, I, J for each I, J, and if the two matrix has the same dimension, which means and n times n is equal to p times q. Actually, the, uh, we, we need that the number of columns of first matrix is equal to the number of columns of second matrix, and the number of rows of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. And each element of the first matrix must be equal to each element of the second matrix.